Hey, I'm Lights, and you're watching Billboard.com. Social media is so important to my career, and that's where I started. It was, it was a platform for me to put my music out there when there's really no other platform to put it out there. You have all these songs, and you're like, how am I going to show people? You put it online. And I was always just very sure in the fact that if you have something good, and if you have something that, like, you know, resounds with somebody and runs home for that person or they can relate to, that it's going to work in their life and then they're going to pass it on. That's how it all kind of just started, putting stuff on MySpace, people starting to hear about it, talking about it a little bit. As a result of demand, I would I started moving myself over to YouTube and doing video blogs and now Twitter. So it's just a really great way to put your stuff out there when there otherwise wouldn't be a platform for it. And that, that's the same re uh, recommendation I make to all our other artists that are starting out in the same position. like. Use those. Why not? It's exactly the right thing you need to put your stuff out there. And if it's good, it'll it'll stand out among everything else. You know, I've written with a lot of uh, different people just trying it out. It's like part of working the songwriting muscle. But um, there's really only a few that really get you the most. And they're t generally the people that know you. Songs, it's so important to be so honest in them and really reach inside of you and, and for everyone involved to be there for the same reason. And if you're just sitting there writing with someone random who you don't really know, it's just like a little bit dry and songwriting should never be dry. Out across cities, I see buildings burning to piles. And the beauty of doing acoustic shows is that you can hear the song, you can hear the lyrics, you can hear the marriage of the lyrics and the melody, which is something I put a lot of attention on when I'm writing. And then when you cover it up with production, I love production, I'm a huge fan of synths and, and awesome production, lots of different layers, which is what my music is, it's electropop. But um, when you strip that all away and the song, song still shines through, that's when you know you have a great song. So that was what really um, is exciting for me for this tour, to show people a bit more of the song. Take me over to some other I, I had a week off in March, in the middle of the big tour, and I ended up recording this acoustic EP um, just on my own, in my own apartment, just because it was a kind of response to what the fans wanted and a, a chance to show the other side of the music. So that came out, and we planned a little tour on it, this acoustic tour. Really didn't have any expectations of, of what would happen, but the tour sold out really quickly. It, it's really, really exciting and very flattering to see that people want to just see you up there by yourself. Very vulnerable. <laughs> so. Um, it's exciting, and I'm, I'm, it's, it's such a different thing for me. I think it's important as an artist to go out of your comfort zone every now and then. I'm comfortable with being with a band up there all the time, so this is just by myself holding down the fort for an hour, and it's, it's amazing. I really like it. Put me 